call them the Clinchboro Firefighters. We have a report of a structure fire at the corner of Locust and Cherry. Locust and Cherry. That was the alert sent to Hamilton County first responders in the early morning hours of August 26th. The three guys that responded first, myself and Firefighter Dale and Firefighter Taylor. Officers with the Sheriff's Department and McLeansboro Police Department were already on scene when Assistant Fire Chief Jim Morris arrived to the two-story apartment building. A camera on Chief Morris's helmet caught the intense moments as they walked through the home. It was tight quarters. I mean, it, there was no room for anything. The six-unit complex was evacuated, but Chief Morris says the crew believed someone was still inside. It's dark. It's very hot. A uh, lot of smoke. Um, you, there's... You can't hear anybody, and I knew that the first place we had to go was to that, to that room right there. But finding anyone was a challenge. Moore says the first crew ran out of oxygen after knocking the fire out. That's when he and firefighter Walter Rexing went in. He confirmed that there was a victim down on the floor there. The man was rushed out of the home and flown to a St. Louis hospital. It's all about life. You know, if, if we have to uh, give up our life, so be it. Morris says that man is alive today because of one simple rule. People out there need to know, keep your doors shut. The door saved this man's life. Having a door shut is a big thing. While the rule played its role, the city recognized all the emergency responders with merit awards for their life-saving acts. We don't do it for pats on the backs. We don't do it to be, you know, um, spotlighted. We do it because, you know, there's something down deep in every one of us. And if or when the time comes, Moore says they'll do it again. In McLeansboro, with this week's Unsung Heroes, Evie Allen, News 3.